Oh, those mighty pros and cons of Leesburg, Virginia. I'm going to be straight up honest with you, having lived here and raised my family here, I'm going to share my pros and cons for Leesburg, Virginia, so stay tuned. What's up, everybody? Maggie Hatfield, broker owner of 15 West Homes right here in the Leesburg, Virginia area, but we serve all of the DC metro area. If this is your first time to our channel, thank you for finding us. Make sure you tap that subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified of all the new videos we're gonna start putting out. We get so many calls, emails, and texts from people who are looking to learn more about Leesburg, or the DC metro area because they intend on moving here and we absolutely love to help them. So if you're even thinking about moving to Leesburg, obviously, but also the DC metro area, please shoot us a text, give us a call, send us an email, send us a snail mail, whatever works for you, days, nights, weekends, whenever we have your back when it comes to moving to Leesburg and also the DC metro area. I've lived in Leesburg for over 25 years and I'm gonna share the scoop on pros and cons of living in the area. We're gonna talk about five pros and five cons and I'm gonna leave it up to you to decide whether or not those are true pros and cons. Really is based on perception. I mean, you're either a glass half empty or a glass half full kind of person. There is a ton to do here in the Leesburg area. I'm so thankful that we found this little town, not so little anymore, but this little town when we moved here in 1998 and we've just enjoyed all the great things to do and all the fun we've had. So I'm very thankful for that. However, some folks may see it differently. So if you are familiar with this area, please feel free to share your thoughts below in the comments. Leesburg, Virginia is nestled between the Blue Ridge Mountains and the Potomac River, which is why there's such a wide variety of things to do. It's a fast growing family oriented town that is bolstered by this historic charm. It was founded in 1758. So there's a lot of history here and a lot of historical monuments and buildings. So let's get down to it. We're gonna start with the five pros and then go to the five cons. Pro number one, walkable downtown area. When you get to the downtown Leesburg area, you'll feel like you're right in the middle of a Hallmark movie. There's really quaint buildings, very historic buildings with shops and restaurants and things to do. Despite the fact that Leesburg has grown significantly since I've been here, they've been able to kind of hold that small town charm. It really starts with downtown Leesburg. And when you really wanna see the town come alive, you can stop by on Friday afternoons, Saturdays or Sundays where they close off the road so you can walk around and check out the shops and maybe have an adult beverage as you walk by, take the kiddos with you, you can stroll around, let them run around a little bit. It's a great way to get to know the small business owners there, but also appreciate the walkability and the charm of the downtown area. Pro number two, local sports. So if you're a big soccer fan and you don't wanna to commute to the DC metro area, pretty far away, to see a soccer match, we got your back here because we have a new soccer facility that hosts the farm league for our DC United Major League Soccer team. So you can see a match anytime you want locally. In addition to that, we also have rugby tournaments here. So if you're a rugby fan, you can catch a rugby tournament or a rugby match here as well. In addition, we also have a world-class skating facility that offers skating lessons, hockey lessons, curling lessons, who knew? And you can also check out a concert there as well as an ice show. Lastly, and I saved the best for last because I'm a horse girl, we have a world-class equine facility on Morven Park, which is an old mansion that's gorgeous grounds, hundreds of acres, and they host horse events from dressage to hunter jumper to carriage driving, and they do arena polo. So it's super fun to go and watch. I definitely would recommend checking that out. Pro number three, amazing walking, hiking, and biking trails. I alluded to this earlier. We have tons of places to go hiking. We're close to the Appalachian Trail, so you can go up there and get on the trail, but we also have more localized hiking 
That includes a historic site called Balls Bluff Regional Park. It has historic relics there. They offer tours. It's a great place to go learn a little bit more about the history of the area as well as get close to the Potomac River. And if that's not your game, you don't really like the historic piece of it, there are a couple other walking trails that you can enjoy as well. In addition, there is a biking trail, Washington and Old Dominion bike trail that runs a little bit west of us from Percival all the way up to Sherlington, which is, a, is very close to DC. It's a 45 mile bike trail. So if you're an avid cyclist, it's definitely something you'd wanna check out. I would recommend, however, if you are an avid cyclist, get up early and get out there on the trail because there's a lot of kiddos and walkers and dogs and stuff that start to get on that trail later in the morning and in the afternoon. Pro number four, local wineries and breweries. They have been sprouting up everywhere and we are now considered kind of a hotbed for local wineries and breweries to the extent that some of our wineries have won national awards for their wine. Now the climate is a little bit challenging because we are pretty heavy moisture wise. So sometimes it's not as easy to grow grapes here, but we've managed to do a really great job of it as evidenced by the number of wineries that are here as well as breweries. And we also have distilleries. So there's tons of things to go check out. If you love wine or you love beer or you love your spirits, there's definitely places to try here in Leesburg. Pro number five, festivals and farmer's markets. So we have tons of festivals in the Leesburg area. One of them is coming up right now in April, the Flower and Garden Show, which is a must see. It's over the entire weekend. They close off the downtown area. You can see a lot of different vendors and a lot of different landscape, landscape plan options. They actually come in and do landscaping on a platform. So it's kind of cool to see. Gives you an opportunity to see what other businesses are out there that you may want to use to spruce up your house and whatnot. And we also have a lot of local farmer's markets and who wouldn't want to be able to get their produce fresh from the farmer. And we support locally grown, locally sourced food. A lot of our restaurants do that. And so it's a really big initiative for us to support the farmers because without them, we wouldn't have food. Now it's time to get into the cons. The first con is traffic. Unfortunately, there can be bottlenecks of traffic and Leesburg was founded in 1758 and has grown exponentially over even the 20 years, 25 years that I've been here. So the infrastructure hasn't really grown fast enough to support all the families moving here and all the development that's happening. So there are bottlenecks in certain areas, especially when you go north as you're driving to get to Maryland. On Route 15 is what the highway is called. It's a one lane highway each way. So if there is an accident, you are not moving. And if it snows or rains, Forget about it, I don't know why. People just can't drive in the snow and the rain. I'm from Ohio, so snow wouldn't bother us, neither would rain, so just be aware, be cautious. When inclement weather happens, there might be additional challenges. That said, there is a plan that has been approved to mitigate some of the traffic bottlenecks around the city. Those mitigation plans probably won't start for a couple years, but there is a plan in place. And secondarily, if you know the traffic patterns, you can work around them. For example, on Friday afternoons during the warmer months, everybody's driving to the beach. So you know, do not get on the congested highways, especially 15 North at from like three to like seven, right? Cause all the traffic's going that way to the beach. So things like that you learn. And then you know, if you can drive off commuting times, it's much, much, much better. So if you have flexibility in your work schedule, take advantage of that and you'll be fine. Con number two, home prices. So with this rapid growth that we've seen in the past, you know, some odd years, and in addition to COVID, which we've all kind of dealt with, price appreciation has skyrocketed here. The good news of that is your values hold if you're a homeowner. The bad news is it makes it a little bit challenging for people who are coming into the area to find a house that they can afford, especially first time home buyers. I mean, houses for townhomes are starting at almost a half a million, maybe a little bit below that. But the average median price point for homes in this area is about $650,000. So it is not cheap to live here, but it is a good investment. And I'm talking myself out of the con right there. Con number three, the weather. And it really goes to say for all of the Northern Virginia area, it is crazy. Like, especially in the fall and the spring, you can have a 70 degree day. And then the next day you can have a 
below freezing day. And sometimes all in one day, you'll start out at 30 degrees and you'll get to 70 degrees. So you have to be prepared for that crazy wet weather, wear layers and just know that the weather is crazy here. In addition, summers get really hot here and it's a humid hot. So it's a little bit harder to tolerate for me personally, because I don't like the humidity. But you know, I know to get up and do my exercise in the morning or in the evening and I stay indoors with the cool air conditioning to alleviate the frustration or the sweating that you will find you're doing during the summer months. God number four, taxes. When I first moved here from Ohio, I know it was a while ago, but I didn't realize that I had to pay property taxes, personal property taxes on my cars. So in addition to paying your personal property taxes on your home, you also pay them on your car. So that was a little bit of a wake up call for me. In addition, if you have the privilege of living in the downtown or the town of Leesburg area, you will be paying additional taxes for that privilege. Loudoun County is the richest county in the United States in terms of median household income. So it would make sense that taxes are higher here. The last con, con number five, is proximity to the DC area. So while you have great highways that'll take you east to DC, traffic stinks. I'm gonna be honest with you. And so it's challenging if you have to leave during commuting times to get to DC in anywhere less than an hour and a half. Now, we have commuter buses and we have the Metro that came out to the Ashburn area, which is about 25 minutes east of us. So those are options, but they're gonna take a long time to get to DC because they're gonna, even though the Metro doesn't have traffic, it takes a while from all the way out here to get to DC. So it may not save you time, but it may save you a lot of stress. So there you have it, five pros and the five cons of living in Leesburg, Virginia. And in my opinion, I think the pros outweigh the cons. As you could see from what we talked about, there are so many fun things to do. I really love living here as evidenced by the fact that I've been here 20 years and I'm grateful that I could raise my family here. So if you're even thinking of moving to the Leesburg area or the Northern Virginia area, you have to reach out so we can find you the perfect spot for you, you and your family, whoever's coming with you, talk about your lifestyle, talk about your goals, talk about maybe what you don't like. We have your back when it comes to moving to Leesburg, Virginia, and of course the Northern Virginia area. But as you know, in order to help you, you need to reach out. So please feel free to call us days, nights, weekends, send us a text, send us an email, send us a snail mail, anything that works. We are here to help you. We know the area really, really well, and we would love to find you your next dream home.